know, in the beginning was the Word, the Word was with God, the Word was God. How, how can we not just start with the Word? If it was in the beginning, spoken Word, you know, and that stimulation by revelation, just some of these scriptures here that uh, uh, it's just become more real to me, and the more you see them, it's just, it's just encouraging, you know. Yeah. And I, so I thought I'd share a few of them. Uh, and I did write my testimony pretty much out, so I didn't ramble too much, so it's like... <laughs> It's going to be a lot of reading, a lot of reading, but uh, I got a lot to say in a year's worth of growth, you know, and, and, and fellowship with the Lord. It's just been such a blessing, but uh, I can't get off track here. Uh, Y'all get a turn with me or I'll just read them real quick. Luke 17, 15 through uh, uh, 19, he said, and one of them, when he saw that he was healed, he turned back and with a loud voice glorified God. Then he fell on his face and, and, and his feet and giving thanks with and he was a Samaritan. And Jesus answering, We're not their ten cleans, but where are the nine? They are not found that return to give glory to God, save this stranger. And he said unto him, Arise, go thy way, and the faith that man thee hold. Yeah. Well, I'm going to come back and just give God the glory. And, uh, I believe, you know, he told me by his stripes we are healed. I take him at his word. I can stand on that word. Yeah. Power in that word. Uh, 2 Timothy 1, 6 through 9, he said, Wherefore I put in remembrance that stir up the gift of God, which is in thee, by the putting on of my hands. For God hath not given us the spirit of fear, but of power. You know, and something like today, you know, I guess some other scriptures here, but I'll just tie it all together. But today, you know, I, I, well, I'm going to get off track, but I'm going to get up here and sing a special. And I'm by no means a singer. I started out just kind of playing around in my basement, but I started praying here recently about God. Just help me use your word. Use it more skillfully more effectively. You know, there's power in that word. We have spoken word. You know, he spoke worlds into existence. Whatever he said it was, you know, so we can take it as it is. It is. And, you know, and so I, I've been praying that, you know, it was, it was just, I just kind of finished up my little song and stuff. He started dealing with me. And uh, when, when you look at it, I had a scripture there that said, be strong, be of good courage, yeah. neither be thou dismayed, fear not. You know, so when you take it, you know, uh, that's where it started coming as he started dealing with me. I was like, okay, he's answering that prayer right there. He's giving you the courage. You know, I said, do it. You know, and I've been praying today. I, I was like, Lord, and I, and I was like, all right. You know, I was praying, Lord, just give me the courage to, you know, sing with what I got anyway, you know. <laughs> and then it's like, you know, he's done spoke a word. It's, the, it's a revelation in itself. You know, it should be stimulation and revelation, you know. And uh, <clears throat> for God hath not given us the spirit of fear, but of power and of love and of sound mind. Be not thou therefore ashamed of the testimony of the Lord, nor or of a prisoner. Be thou partakers of the afflictions of the gospel according to the power of God, who hath called, who saved us and called us unto a holy calling, not according to our works, but according to his own purpose and grace. And for it was given to us, which was given us in Christ Jesus before the world began. See, it was by grace, you know, blessed be the name of the Lord. Deuteronomy 31 6 said, Be strong and of good courage, fear not, nor be afraid of them. For the Lord thy God, he is that that do goeth with thee. He will not fail thee, nor forsake thee. Amen. Yeah. <clears throat> that's, that's another thing. You know, I'm, I'm, I'll probably repeat myself when I got to wing it like this, but that's another thing. One of the greatest things through this testimony of what God's brought me through is that no matter what we go through, no matter what you're facing, he can get you through it, over it, under it, wherever you got to do it, he can get you through it, but only believe it. There's nothing. So when the devil tries to bring fears on, you know, whatever it might be, you shake them off. God has the whole world in control. Yeah. He's not going to lose none of them. If, if I go, it was my time to go. So I don't have to fear that. There's only peace with him. He's the prince of peace, you know. Mm. Stimulation by revelation, I said. Give the Lord a round of applause. Tread on serpents and scorpions and over all the power of the enemy, and nothing shall by any means hurt you. Notwithstanding in this, rejoice not that the spirits are subject unto you, but rejoice rather that your names are written in heaven. And in the spirit, in the hour, Jesus rejoiced in the spirit and said, I thank thee, O Father, the Lord of heaven and earth, that thou hast hid these things from the wise and prudent and revealed them unto babes as such as you know, that's that's just another thing right there. It's just such a blessing that we've got a prophet that he sent us a prophet, the message of the hour. Open our eyes 
and, and to be able to grow closer in fellowship with the Lord, you know, closer than any other thing out there, you know. <clears throat> just makes the word more real to us, you know. If he is the word, he said, I'll be with you in you until the end of the world, then we are the word being manifest. We're walking, talking word, written epistles read of all men. We should be seeing the same signs and wonders fall in our life, you know. <clears throat> Father, for so it seemed good in thy sight. All things are delivered unto me of my Father, and no man knoweth who the Son is but the Father, and who the Father is but the Son, and, and he to whom the Son revealeth him. And he said, he turned unto them, his disciples, and said privately, Blessed are your eyes which they see, and they, the things that you see. And you know, that just ties right in together. And then I just wanted to add one more before we get going here. <clears throat> this one just came to me last night. From Revelation 12, 9, he said, uh, 12, 7. And there was a war in heaven. Michael and his archangels fought against the dragon, and the dragon fought, and his angels, and they prevailed not. Neither was their place found anymore in the heaven. And there was a great dragon that was cast out, that old serpent called the devil, and Satan, which deceived the whole world. He was cast out, uh, but who will he not deceive? The bride of Jesus Christ. <clears throat> he was cast out of the whole earth, and, and his angels were cast out with him. And I heard a loud voice saying, In heaven now has come salvation and strength and kingdom of our God and the power of Christ. For the accuser of our brethren is cast down, which accused us before night and day, before God night and day. But they overcame by the blood of the Lamb yeah. and by the word of their testimony. Yeah. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> I just love those scriptures. Yeah. You just take them. Show me that. I mean, we stand on that. You stand on that word of God, huh? Yeah. And you was preaching that too. And I, I, I originally when I started thinking about this, I was thinking about doing it the Wednesday before Thanksgiving because that would be the year actual that day. It would be well that Wednesday last year. This this year will actually be Thursday, but needless to say. But then we wouldn't have in service. But I was gonna call it Thanks Living, you know, not Thanksgiving. Thanks be to God up here, you know, by God's grace. And. Uh, so, but I hope it's just an encouragement to y'all to, you know, uh, to get out of your comfort zone for Jesus. You know, I, you know, it, it's worth, it'll be worth it all to you. All the growing and the growth that you'll have in the fellowship with him. He's our best friend. He'll help you overcome everything the devil throws at you. He will never fail you. You just pray for some more revelation, more stimulation by revelation too. Pray for more faith, you know. And I, yeah. stop right here. Uh, you know, I, I got a few other things. Let me add here. Uh, but I was thinking about as my fellowship's grown with God, you know, as we start walking in the Spirit, as He in the Spirit, we can start seeking Him in different ways, and, and He can talk to us. You know, I have devotionals and things that He can, it, it feels like He's speaking straight to me. Just when I'm seeking for answers, He knows exactly what to get to me when I need to. I believe that's just in fellowship with Him. He knows how to do it, and He can use whatever He has to. You know, Brother Ron Spencer was up there preaching up there at them Louisiana meetings. He was up there. He said he seen Brother Tim Pewitt up here uh, with his iPad. He said he was sitting back here, and he said the iPad started scrolling. Rolling, going in, clicking, coming in, going in, all by itself was going in, clicking, and clicking, and I like picked out this uh, part of the sermon Brother Brown preached on for him, and he said he kept on going. He didn't know what was happening, but it was, what was it? The Spirit of the Lord. He's sitting there doing all that. See, he can work through them things, you know, and and you know, it just gets you going, you know, <laughs> and uh, just like I sent you this morning, you know, part of one of my devotionals said, "Thou, o Lord, thou cat, thou hast." Pleaded the cause of my soul. Thou hast redeemed my life. That thanks living. A grateful spirit should, you know, a grateful heart. I should give back with gratefulness. I should, yeah. you know, be grateful for what God's done for me. A grateful spirit ever cultivated by the Christian, especially after deliverances. We should prepare a song for our God. And, you know, I was like, yeah. so, so he starts speaking to me like, you know, Lord, Lord, you're on track. We can be a fool for Christ, you know. <laughs> Uh, I was thinking, as far as that's in here too, I, I started talking about, you know, we talk about being a fool for Christ, but when do we put it to practice? So, so we get to practice, you know. And then I was even thinking, you think it says, fear not, uh, for perfect love casts out fear. So I was like, okay, you know, so if we're overcoming fears, we're per for trying to perfect love. <laughs> but uh, he said, all the earth should be filled, temple filled with the songs of grateful saints and every day should be a center of smoking sweet incense of thanksgiving unto the Lord. Yeah. And then uh, this popped up, uh, the Lifeline every, morning, every Sunday morning will put a new audio up 
And this was Brother Brandon this morning. Singing, you no matter what you're doing, if you're making a little effort, 
Dale said. And, and we just get out of our comfort zone. If we got things that we need to overcome, you know, just take that step towards him. Get rid of it. Take it towards him. Lean on his word. Try to try to get some devotionals. Do them things like I was saying that draw you closer to him and to walk in the spirit as he's in the spirit. The more spiritual you get, the better off you'll be. And, and, and the, he, I, I said uh, here, I was like, we get out of our comfort zone like he did. I'm sure he was a little bit uncomfortable going to the cross and being put to death for something he didn't do. Oh, my, when you think of it, the amazing grace. But what, because I had no victory. I had, I had an addiction to YouTube, Instagram, TV, and just being plain old lazy on God. In hindsight, 2020, I can see that the main thing was I, I've heard it preached a million times. We don't we don't see the fire in the church because I ain't doing what I'm supposed to do at home. And that's the truth because I had put everything before God. I didn't have a good fellowship with the Prince of Peace. And so when I came to church with convictions instead of victory, I had hardness because of it. it was snowballing, you know, walking in the Spirit. I wasn't feeding the Spirit. I wasn't could, I couldn't walk in the Spirit because I wasn't feeding the Spirit like I should have been. But the Lord, it was just like a revolving door, not feeding that, you know. It was that, that, that black dog was coming robbing me of my food that I was forfeiting by poor, forfeiting to him. Uh, that and, and that poor, poor me, poor me mentality steps in, you know. And so many, many, a uh, man can get wore out trying to fill that thirst still with emptiness.
I was out there, we was out there, I was talking to him and stuff, and I never asked him, you know, didn't think nothing of it. Then we was going back in about an hour early to get in and get our seats, you know, and I'm like, man, if he's still out there, I'd like to ask him, you know, and plus the anointing of someone in the prayer line, he, he may not even know what he's saying, you know, but, but I was like, if he's still out there, maybe I'll ask him, you know, to see if he's saying something. And uh, I go back out there, he wasn't there. I'm like, Lord, I mean, you know, you already know, it's already written, I already believe it anyway, I don't have to have that. If, if you was trying to tell me something, you can get him to say something to me, you know, I'm out here, whatever. And then in the middle of that service, he, he called me out. He stopped and called me out and uh, said, you know, you thought you would come down here, you was making a table for someone, and you thought you was coming down here and deliver a table, but because the Lord showed him that because you done something for a servant of the Lord, uh, you're going to have a heart job, you know. And, you know, that was just him being mindful of me, I believe. Just give me that encouragement. Just keep pressing the mark. Don't doubt. Just keep believing. Keep pressing on. And it was just real encouraging just because, you know. I mean, I already have his word. Like I said, we already have this revelation right here. It's already done. You know, we're just waiting for it to just completely done. That way we can have a vindicated miracle. That way we can come just slay the devil's heads off. What you got now? Just like Brother Ron Spencer said, boom, devil, you didn't have enough, you know. I love when he does that. He gets all fired up. You know, he done been through all kinds of stuff too. But you know, uh, truly I believe that his his word and power to be, it's our weapons to overcome all things as he did. You know, it's that our means are, that we have, we're more than conquerors through Christ. You know, I must decrease so he can increase. And he that began the good work in me will finish it. You know, and it's a privilege and honor to hold this sword. The word, the prayers here, my prayers here lately have been what I told you have been, you know, help me use it more skillfully in my house. But I want to be able to stand on God's word and in, 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 in fullness of it. Because if we're the bride of Christ, we are able to speak the spoken word. And, and we should get that revelation and we should be able to just take it as it is. It says it, I believe. We can't emphasize on that enough. You know, it just <laughs> that's the stimulation of our revelation. Because blessed be the name of the Lord. Get me fired up thinking about it. Just talking about it. <laughs> Praise God. All right. Y'all can amen. Y'all can amen. Yeah. Hallelujah. Y'all, you want to. <laughs> uh, you know, and you know, Brother Brown, what he preached? He said, why Christ speak? What's he talking about? Speak the spoken word. You know, taking him, you know. We aren't going to face any giant, anything that we have using this word. We should be able to seek results by using this word. If we doubt not and only believe, you know. And uh, it says, uh, fear not be only dismayed, you know. How can we not boldly stand on that in the face of our enemy and the fears that we have? Whatever that, that might hinder the praise of our king of kings. Can you imagine little David saying, I ain't good enough to sling that stone. I ain't no good. He, he didn't look at that. He didn't look at that. He looked at God and where his help come from. What about even Joshua and Caleb? You know, they go out there with us like, nah, man, we are as grasshoppers. We can't do it. No, we can bust the devil in the mouth and be like Brother Ron Spencer. Like I said, boo, devil, you didn't have enough. We'll say it again, you know, because what we're going to do, we can go together, all of us. We can be on a headhunting mission together uh, to hunt every devil down, snuff them out in our lives. That we got them all around us trying to, to defeat us, but there's more of us than there is of them. Blessed be the name of the Lord. You know? <clears throat> He's worthy of all praise. Amen. We just praise him in spirit and truth. Let us walk in the spirit. Walk higher and higher until we just walk on out of here as a mature, mature bride of Christ. You know, if God be for us, who can be against us? Now I have this, you know, I have a, re a revelation that neither, like Paul did, neither death nor anything that was separated from the love of God. Blessed be the name of the Lord. <clears throat> he said, uh, I'll repeat myself. Lunchtime, so I'm using guys working more effectively. You know, and I prayed, you know, like I said, you know, for the Lord. You know, all my life I had, you know, the way I grew up, I had TV in my life all my life, you know, and I remember after I was out of the hospital, I'm like, you know, I think like, you know, Brother Tom and those people, and I'm just like, how in the world y'all do it without TV? You know, I've had TV all my life, so it's just like, man, I'm praying, Lord, how in the world can do it? But, you know, God just started taking my desire from it, taking my desire from it, I'm like, you know, and I, so I think just kind of have a little bit more out of time. You know, you read the Bible and you pray, but you still got a little bit of that relaxed time that you want to relax, you know. And, you know, I still watch YouTube some and stuff, but I ain't get that addicted mentality like I did, you know. You can control it, you know. And the TV's all right. If you use it for a good thing, you know, we can watch sermons. We can watch good stuff on there. But, you know, I ain't sitting here. But anyway, yeah. Uh, 
the whole point is, is that's when I started kind of picking up the little guitar. I was like, you know, if I just stuck with it a long time ago, maybe I could do something. But I was like, you know, I can get out here in the basement and just make a joyful noise for the Lord. You know, it gives me some clean uh, hobby to do. And, uh, well, the Lord started dealing with me. I ran up on this verse that said, sing unto him a new song. Play, with, play for him skillfully with a loud noise. You know, and I sit here, uh, be a fool for Christ, you know, when we practice that. If I was a good singer, it wouldn't be much of a sacrifice to get up here. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But uh, you got to have something to overcome. And, and this is where it really started dealing with me is uh, the Lifeline devotional that day. The, the sermon was titled, Whatever He Says to You, Do It. And then he, and it's on the Lifeline. It says, if you, if you, there's no battle, then there's no victory. But if you have to, have, you have to have a battle to have a victory. If it was just given to you, it wouldn't be no, wouldn't be no victory. But he that overcometh is the one who has the victory. So Jesus came to the earth and had a battle. He won the victory, and tonight we have a battle. And with Christ, we can have the victory. That was that. And then the verse was like, I was like, oh, I don't know, but oh, the song, sing unto the Lord a new song. For he hath done marvelous things in his right hand and holy arm. And that's when I started thinking, Lord, you know, I'm like, nah, you know, I ain't, I ain't, I ain't there yet. You know what I'm saying? I ain't ready to sing. But then all that, then, he's, then he starts speaking to me. And then you even met, preaching there, you, get, uh, you had made the comment about healing, healing coming by music. You know, and then you start talking about letting the worshipers arise, you know. And uh, Tammy sent me this one. It said, uh, she had just sent me, she didn't know the Lord had already started dealing with me a little bit about this. But he said, Shame on you people who don't believe in string music. No wonder evil spirits brought around. No, no wonder evil spirits never like it. They, they have to get away. They can cast out devils by playing on the string instrument. That's what the scripture says. That's right. When David would begin to play, the evil spirit would leave Saul. Is that right? So this little boy was born for the world for a purpose. You believe that? And uh, so... So, and then you start talking about that, you know, and, and so I felt like that Thanksgiving testimony, you know, sacrificing and myself to get up here and sing a song and magnify the God, just, it seemed fitting for the time and season, you know. I said, I'm not a, I'm not a singer. I'm not, I'm not going to sit up here and try to make a joyful noise for the Lord. I, I wanted to be more, kind of more like that woman. What, what is, what is she, uh, what was it? The woman that gave, she gave all she had. She was poor, but she gave all she had and they gave out the bunch of her heart, but he said she gave more, you know what I'm saying? I might not have a $10,000 voice, but if I got a penny voice, I want the Lord Bell to say, he gave all he had with what he had. You know, if we can do that for the Lord, I believe he'll be happy with it. You know? And uh, so if we can just make the Lord proud, that's all that matters. And, uh, but I seen it, I seen it felt, seen, I felt like singing another song after it, you know, as y'all can probably see, if y'all know how I am, I kind of go over the top of things, <laughs> uh, you know, overdo things or, or you know, the next thing I know in my mind, I'm like, you know, we can sing this song. We can do the sing of victory after that and actually bring everybody into it. I was picturing full blown, you know, I'm like, then I was playing on Joshua. Then when I started singing, I'm like, Phew, it's just in my mind. It sounded really cool. <laughs> we got some years of practice, guys. Maybe one of these days we'll get there, but not yet. We ain't there yet. <laughs> so uh, we're going to uh, play a little bit. I had uh, in my devotional, I, I I did scratch that idea for playing the Sea of Victory. We are going to do a little tail end of it because I just thought, you know, it's super awesome if you know the song. You know, it, it says in there, you know, you take what the enemy meant for evil and you turn it for good. What do you do here? You know, that won't take my life, but turn it for the greatest blessing in my life. You know, and it says, I'm going to see a victory. Why? Because I'm going to see a victory. You know, you might very well see it today. Jesus Christ here, you know. It, then I was praying. I, he started kind of hitting on me with the uh, with the with grace, with amazing grace, because that's my first Christian song I learned. And, and um, you know, down there in my basement, I can play it pretty good by myself. But you know, you get up here nervous for everybody. Good Lord willing, just help me. But uh, so that, that's where the devotional is the thing I'm talking about. I'm like, okay, Lord, if, if, if you're thinking you want me to play amazing grace to uh, let my devotional when I go up there in my quiet time devotional. Let it have something about grace. And, and then this is what it had. And, and, I, and two, I'm like, maybe it's a coincidence. So I flipped back like, I don't know, 10, 15 pages. There wasn't no grace nowhere. I'm like, okay, maybe that's what you're telling me. But it says, now faith is a revelation from God. Now faith is a revelation. There's where I want to stay. Just a moment. 
It's a revelation. He has revealed this to you by his grace. And it's nothing you did. You didn't work yourself into faith. If you ever had faith, it was given to you by the grace of God. And God reveals it to you. Therefore, faith is a revelation. The whole church of God is built upon revelation. And that sermon is titled, Works is Faith Expressed. So we should be able to see our works manifesting our faith. Blessed to be the name of the Lord. And uh, I was going to say, uh, yeah. Can you pull the song up, Michael? I was just going to give you a little song that I've been working on. The, the song had kind of, uh, I had started with one little verse in my mind. I had broke the line down. I started with a line. I might have went on for a while. Actually, I found another song I kind of started taking some chords from. And, uh, uh, yeah. So, if you see the chorus one, all I want to do is glorify you and thank all things and honor some truth. Uh, that's where I started it. And I don't know, it just went just a little piece at a time. I had notes, notes, wasn't ever really trying to go anywhere with it. But by the time I was done, you know the, the main the main idea was you know you think in the battlefield of our mind we've we, we've been we, we we learn all kinds of bunch of junk we get scarred in our minds you know we've been taught wrong things and we have all this stuff but you know and we can raise a child up in the way which you go but without a new birth experience and God giving you some revelation you know we don't even know what to think on is but God can come down and teach our minds what to think on and, and so I, that's what my prayer was always Lord just you know teach me what to think you know. You know, I just want to think on things that are just, honest, good report, you know, pure, you know, and think on them things. So that was the kind of the inspiration of the course in that. And, and you know, when you when I say that part, I don't, I know now what I didn't know then is you love me for the foundation. You know, that was because I didn't know how he longed so much to have that fellowship with me. You know, and when you, you know, a lot of that right there you can see is pretty self-explanatory. But uh, when uh, I said, I need you more, I need you more. I need you more, Lord, than I did. I broke on sin. Uh, you know, that was because once you get the revelation of what you're up against with the devil and your enemy and yourself, you, we realize I need him more today than I did yesterday. Amen. Every day I need more of him, yeah. you know, because that battle increases. We, we need more of him. And that's kind of where, where the thoughts came from with that. And, uh, yeah, it's just... Uh, and Lord, it's it's all it's all it's not me. It's all you. It's amazing grace all the way through. That come from uh, you know He chose us for the foundation of the world. He had us on His mind, you know. So it wasn't nothing I done. He started the work in me. He's gonna finish it. So that's kind of just the gist of the story of the song. Let's get it. Well, y'all pray for me. <laughs> yeah. Some mercy and grace in your hearts.
different when you're up here than in your basement. 